Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. And this is an energy of someone being very remorseful. This is someone who really regrets something that happened in the past. This is someone who's very focused on what was lost and what, wouldn't, what didn't work out. And, and they wish that they could change the way things happened in the past. There is a sense of this person feeling very guilty, feeling very disheartened and even depressed over this. This is something that they're struggling to get over. This is an energy of them really reminiscing or focusing heavily on the past pains, what they did wrong and how they could have done things better. This is someone who really feels bad about how things um, went down and they really do wish that um, they could take back the past and change things. This is someone who's in a very depressed and sad energy right now. This is really, um, you know, despairing, remorseful, um, mourning type of energy. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Ace of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Magician. So this is Mercury Energy, Virgo, Gemini Energy. Okay, so I do see um, with this Seven of Swords being in the reverse, this could be someone who did you wrong in the past and they got exposed. This person may have hurt you in some way or they may have cheated you or lied to you or just done you unfairly in some way and um, they got caught with the Seven of Swords energy. So this is someone who, um, you know, this wasn't their finest hour and they were seen in that moment and they feel very bad about that so with that Seven of Swords being in the reverse and that Five of Cups they really do regret um, mistreating you or being um, deceitful or stealing or unfair towards you. This person really, this pains them a lot. And I do see this person, they think about the situation a lot and they hate how things ended or how things may have transpired between you. Um, this person could have been quite manipulative towards you as well with the magician being there next to the seven of swords. Um, they may have done some very cunning um, behaviors towards you. And um, I do see that with that five of cups, they this is something you know the, what really prompts this type of behavior is this person has a lot of past traumas um something bad may have happened to them in past relationships that left them feeling like um you know you know now they wanted to get their fair share of heartbreaks or you know there is something um some sort of past baggage past trauma that really motivated this person and they're still struggling to heal that and this is adding to that um you know to the to the build up of past traumas that's causing this person to act out in relationship but this is actually a very sad person i do see this person is very um depressed as well with that five of cups energy and they do actually have some remorse they feel very bad about um what happened and with that ace of wands this is them once a new beginning they may still have feelings towards you they are still passionate about you with that ace of wands they still 
want something with you and they are trying to manifest a second chance with you this is them really struggling to get over the past this person wants to re um revive the past they want to bring it back around they want a second chance they want to try to do things differently this time with that magician card that's them trying to manifest you back into their life because they are still passionate about you so there is also still something about you that's very um hot and heavy in their eyes and they they do want something quite um fiery with you with that ace of wands they do want to create something with you they still feel a spark with you they still feel like um you know things ended prematurely and that they can still save the connection they do still want a new beginning with you but this person is currently still in a state of mourning um what happened and grieving feeling very um guilty and feeling very bad about themselves and okay so let's clarify these cards gemini So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. This person actually ha has a lot that they want to say to you. I do see that this person, um, there's a lot that they feel has been left unsaid. And they they still have a lot of emotions to this connection, to this situation. They they have, they feel like they didn't get to say their fair share. Um, they, they just, there's them showing up very vulnerable as well and they want to give to the connection they still have feelings for you and a soft spot and i do see that this person regrets the way that they were painted in this um bad lights with the seven of swords energy they want to really show you who they are um outside of that they they, they feel like you didn't get to see the real them you saw the bad side of them and they really do want to um bring this around so that they can show you their more nurturing kind kind-hearted compassionate warm side because this person does have that side to them this person is also quite emotional um, they may not have shown you that but they do have um, you know they have a lot of feelings and empathy and care which is why this is really eating them up with that five of cups they really do feel a lot of you know they feel things quite deeply and they feel very hurt right now so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini Okay, so the first card we have here is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Next, we have the Ten of Swords, Air Energy again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy again. Okay, so I do see this person, they really are in a state of despair right now. But I see this person as someone who really hurt you. With this Ten of Swords, this is someone who betrayed you. They backstabbed you. They they left you in this situation where you had to fend for yourself. You had to, you, you know, you realized you couldn't trust this person. So you may not see this person in a very good light. And this person hates that you see them in that light now. But this is also a card of closing out that chapter. So I do see that you may have freed yourself from this situation with this eight of swords you did get out you freed yourself from it and you heal you are healing with this three of um, swords being in the reverse this is you moving forward healing your heart and still having some of those wounds lingering but i do see that you've learned a lot from the situation and you were able to empower yourself as well with the magician card so you may have walked away from the situation picked yourself up and ended this cycle and you may when this person's name comes up or when you think about this person feelings of pain may come you know um feelings of being triggered um you know there's that sadness around how you view this person now because of how things ended and this person they want to change that that's what they don't um they don't like the fact that you saw them in that light because they do feel guilt and they feel that they are a better person than what they showed you 
but I do see that you picked yourself up and you moved forward and you closed this chapter. You made peace with the fact that this is a person who is a heartbreaker. This is a person who hurts people and you made peace with that and you healed, you know, focused on healing yourself and closed the chapter. But this person, they're not satisfied with how things ended. I do see that they, they're still not over the situation. Okay, so Gemini, I am going to pull out an oracle card for you. Okay, so the card says, you are very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. Okay, so I do see that you are on the verge of, you know, overcoming this heartbreak. You're moving forward. You're empowering yourself. You're manifesting something new in your life. Something more positive. Someone who is more trustworthy, reliable. Someone who can actually match you in love. I do see that um, your healing journey, you're making a lot of progress in it. You are, um, you know, starting to understand the pain and um, also starting to just allow yourself to grieve and your heart to be open again to love and not letting this person leave you jaded is what i'm seeing here but this person they still do want this with you they still feel the spark and the connection to you they still want a new beginning with you they see you as someone who they will always feel like they missed out on something great and they will always you know kick themselves because they messed this up they feel very bad about it but i do see that you are moving forward and you're empowering yourself and you you really are healing and you're doing a very great job in your healing journey is what I'm seeing. You're empowering yourself and um, with this card I do see that you're very close to achieving a goal. You're manifesting something better for yourself with that magician card as well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.